All right, well, hello there, and welcome back to our Let's Play of Satellite Rain once again, folks. We are back on episode two. Changed up the settings here, so the sound should be a little bit louder. The uh, the only problem with it is that it quite literally has exactly two settings. It has either sound effects or music volume. So yeah, not the uh, not the best system there for that. Anyhow, um, I suppose we we get to learn a little bit about research now. Uh, we found the prototype, if you remember, from episode one of some sort of revolver we can research it to um unlock it for all of our people where we can use and equip only one uh one 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 of our agents here so that is something that we need to do but for research we need two different things we need researchers and we need active research cash so those are kind of the two things that we'll be uh, trying to find today right so we have to the researcher we got a nice convenient mission for us here and yeah so that's that so we'll uh yeah try to find a researcher from there so there's a couple of things that we need to do from here on out need to find a researcher firstly and we'll need to be on the lookout for things like you know data terminals and just in general other interesting bits inside the city also find some ATMs, siphon some cash off of those, and that is actually quite the critical portion for research. Taking a look at some of the people over here. What are these guys all about? Further downstream you go, the more... what? The more you see folks running out of things to live for and hope. suppose it's kind of fitting for uh, some guy, you know, camped out in the back of uh, the back of an alley over here. Now, this area is actually quite nice. It's a, it's a stark difference. It's like once you go, you know, across this bridge, it's a nice little plaza and all. But, uh, you know, the minute that you step over it, it it, it, <laughs> it goes down downhill real fast. Right. Well, anyhow, there's a couple of things that we need to do here for uh, for getting some cash. The first one being over here. I took a look around the map for, uh, oh crap, uh, earlier. I didn't realize that the camera um, can actually see you doing this though. Right, so in that case we'll have to um, hold tight for a second here. Good thing being that now that we have the siphoning thing going on, you need a you need you need a hacker with some level hacking um, there. Usually it's one, sometimes it's two. Uh, once you grab these little spots, they give you yeah 0 0.19 cash per second, so you know a, a fifth if you will there. And research is you know pretty damn expensive, so it's 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 good if uh, if we get a few areas like that. Right, it looks like they've given it all clear, so let's go find that uh, researcher. Now, if I'm not mistaken, he should be... Where well, no, never mind, the missions are, to some extent, uh, a varied per different run-through. Last time I had to go over here, into uh, this little park area to find a hacker. It looks like now they want us to go into this market area, so we'll do that. Hello, officer. We were completely not the people that you saw, like, two minutes ago. I suppose everything's fine. Right, so open this back up. Take a look at the uh, friendly scenery over here. Should be somewhere, uh, some guy inside this marketplace, I guess. Just absolutely love the rain and uh, the stuff going on over here. Really, really nice. Alright, let's see. We have this ping effect going. There's... Doesn't look like there's anyone here. Where no, there we go. Okay, so a little bit far away, that's fine though. And right, so we'll get him fixed up right away. We more or less have just had to go down over there and go for a little chat. Get the hacker to uh, hopefully do this terminal right over here. And again, level 1 terminal, you get uh, about a quarter of a dollar uh, from it. Did this guy... Oh, I see, it's a moving person. That's why he's... Uh, 
It's a little difficult to catch over here. Come on. <laughs> it's kind of odd. We just walk around over here, find researchers on the street, and I don't know, magically convince them, really, that, uh, that they need to join us for, for a tidy sum of 100 bucks. So grab another one of those, and we'll grab another one of these, or the first one of these. So yeah, you can find data terminals over here. Um, they'll give you a wide variety of different messages. Um, some of them, I believe, will actually help you out. Some of them will be more so generic ones there. Nevertheless, I mean, I think we'll we'll take whatever ones we can find. I don't know if we'll make a, make a definite effort to to you know look for them though. Is uh, is the thing. Hopefully, I mean, it ties into some side quests and stuff like that, but at the moment being, I don't think it does. Right, so back on research, what do we had to do? We had to go over here, click on the research button. We uh, we can assign different amounts of researchers to it. Um, a researcher will passively just, you know, take an amount of cash. As you can probably tell here, we currently staff two researchers for, for $4 per second. If we decide to add more to it, the uh, the price becomes extremely, extremely steep. So overall, I think it's a, yeah, it's a trade time between, you know, the 16, 31, um, you know, six minutes or 16 minutes and 31 seconds versus kind of how much cash you get from it. So that should start things up. Yeah, so R&D is going. Uh, the siphoning barely covers that amount, but uh, you know, it's just kind of something that we had to deal with really. And yeah, things are things are just gonna go like that. Right. So in the meantime, um, I think we have a few more objectives, and we probably want to more or less walk around for a bit, take a look uh, around, and see what we can do here. So in terms of missions, um, it doesn't look like we've unlocked any missions so far, apart from just kind of capping these research beacons. But later on, I know that uh, you get missions to hit up to areas later on. Right, there we go. So we have uh, two jobs here for, for us to do. Uh, one thing is that we need some cash. And that, uh, well, siphoning ATMs will be... Will be uh, will be will be something that we can definitely do, but in addition to that, we could also try to kind of go for the bank over here. Either infiltrate it with the hacker, get in stealthily and siphon off some cash, or we could kind of uh, you know just break in there and to grab that. And in addition to that mission, we also have uh, Ronan Incorporated over here. So apparently, they have some storage stuff that uh, that we could possibly liberate. So. Um, I think that is where we will be going. Right, so we'll send our people over there. In the meantime, you know, taking a look at their different weapons and all. Uh, we can... Uh, let's see. So yeah, I mean, we can get our people different weapons here. I'm actually going to replace the sniper rifle over here. With a with an SMG, just simply because, in my opinion, the game really doesn't handle those weapons very well, in the sense that, more often than not, um, your your guys just kind of stand, uh, stand point blank with the sniper rifles and shoot them like that. So anyhow, we'll get our guys here, and we'll, uh, well, try to hit up that, uh, that area shortly. And okay, so that's actually just down the street. Not not too terribly far. And kind of for your information right now, I'm just taking a look around the area for... My, my, would you look at that? This, uh, you know, pit goes down quite far. Anyhow, I'm taking a look at uh, areas here for... For more ATMs. Doesn't look like there are any. 
but I know this is uh, this is kind of the entrance to the uh, the shipyard or the storage area over here. Don't know why it's a shipyard. Anyhow, we need to ideally get our agents through this area, through the stealth route, I should say. Because this is definitely not a fun place to be in if um, if you guys start shooting. Right, so there's a couple of guards walking down there. Don't think anyone else apart from the soldier has that silencer, so we'll get him to uh, move through here as best as he can. Watch out for the cameras. If we did have somebody with, uh, yeah, the hardwiring skill, we might be able to do something with that, but we don't, so this will be the next best thing. And one of the things about these infantrymen is that they actually have this other bar up on top. They have armor. These are uh, armored units. So we can scan them. We can take a look at some of their, um, yeah, some of their, some of their attributes over here. So these, these are, yeah, pretty kind of, you know, mercs and all that. Quite strong at that as well. Yeah, thirty points of armor, as you see there. Oh shit. What happened there? We managed to nab the first guy. Oh crap, it's a pack of guards. Right, let's uh I, I suppose we'll have to go in hot now. They'll call in for, for more reinforcements. We have to try our best to try to stop these people. Or try to press on here. Right, so as you may have noticed, one of the penalties about this is that all of these guys down here, they have armor, which definitely helps them out by, uh, by some amount here. At the very least, their people are leveling up. I'm going to buy a, a second level 1 hacking, just simply because we need that for, for later on. And for the rest of our guys here, um, you know what, I think... Yeah, I think field medic over here is quite a useful skill for him. And for the soldier, we need some more. We we could use some more damage, or we could use hard wiring. So, you know what? I think we'll go for the weapon specialist for now. Right. So this is a little bit better, but we need to hurry things up now that we are uh, taking some fire.
Okay, so that wasn't too bad. Luckily, we were able to draw, yeah, all the fire away from uh, from our guys over here with the drone and all. Right, so let's get the last little bit here done up. Uh, we'll get infiltrated to go in there, grab the prototype, we'll get the hacker to, to immediately hack the damn thing. Yeah, take out the camera. We'll set up for the next uh, wave of defenders right here. There we go. Mission complete. We we got we uh, we grabbed something called the the fast response emergency drop. Um, summary, you know, you you guys can read all the text if you'd like. But summarizing that, we we found some stuff that allows us to drop anywhere inside the city, provided that we can research it. Let's just get rid of that one guy. Get the rest of our people out of here. Let's just hack this terminal and get a uh, get the rest of our people out of here. Coincidentally enough, only uh, from the looks of it, only the infiltrator is being wanted. So in that case, we'll leave him over here. I mean, it doesn't seem like anything you know really comes up and down that rat. So yeah, there we go. There, everything is clear, and I think we can just kind of walk away here, scot free and all. Okay, so not bad. I mean, we we def we got some more siphoning going on. We got some flat, uh, some 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 cash out of that. Really, half hacking going on as well. So overall, things are pretty good. Right. So what else? Fried triangulation. Looks like there's another thing that we need to do here for it. Uh, so let's see. We need three terminals hacked to to get that thing going. There's one over here inside the guard station from the looks of it. There's one easy one over here that we'll get to. And right, I think we'll, we'll I think we'll do the one neutral areas first instead of going into, you know, someone else's place for now. The reason being is that I think there's a yeah, from what I remember, there's a few more ATMs and things inside this area, especially like yeah, level 2 ones which we can now hack. So, yeah, I think we'll lay low for a while and get that done. Right, so I mean, last time this is where I found the uh, the the guy that we were supposed to talk to, the researcher. So I'm kind of hoping that there's two researchers that we get, where you know, another uh, researcher we can pick up here. Doesn't look like it though. I'm guessing in that case, maybe the um, you know AI people walking around here just have really really large uh, routes that they go from. What's the trailer all about here? You have... Yeah, I don't really know. Something there, however, so that's kind of nice to know. Is there any more ATMs over here? No, but there's a beacon. Fair enough. We'll get that lit up. And right, so this looks like these two doors are actually connected. This would be, you know, from the looks of things, a bit of an easier back door into the rest of this compound right over here. So the only thing being is that uh, then we'd have to figure out what exactly unlocks this door right here. It doesn't look like uh, anything there. Huh. Maybe maybe it's only one way. Maybe you can you can use it as an exit point, you know, as a as a as a way to kind of escape. Um, provide one yeah once you're in there, but not the other way around. Something like that. Oh, my own oh mind, we're just finding every ATM inside the city here. So that's not too bad. We are at almost a single buck now, so that's not... Yeah, that's by far not bad. 
Grab another one over here. Now we should be, yeah, a dollar and eighteen. Not bad, not bad for some passive income. And I mean, like as you can probably tell, research uses a lot of that. But um, once you, you know, if you're not researching anything, it doesn't, right? So that should be very, very good for later on when we can kind of just stock up on cash, really. And let's see what this is. Oh, I see. It's on the balcony. What are these guys all about? They have some funky helmets right here. Looks like that's another faction. Okay, so that's not too bad. Right, so there we go. We have about a buck fifty per second. That is definitely not bad. Another beacon done. Looping around here. I'm just going to see whether or not we can see anything through the fog of war. Huh. It's another ATM up here. It's a little high tier for uh, for us for now. It's level four, so it would actually take us yeah two levels to at you know at the very least to get to that. But that's kind of nice to know at at the very least there. Right. So I think this will be the end of this episode. We'll uh, we'll go forwards later on inside episode three, possibly going after that bank. But um, you know what? In the meantime, I'm under the impression that. We're missing something here to uh, grab some more better equipment for our guys. I want to see whether or not we can get some um, augmentations or just in general some better weapons. Something like that. Anyhow, I think that'll be uh, yeah for episode 3 instead of episode 2. So till then, I will see you guys later.